Elon Musk is a man who has been sued several times, but this time, he is the one suing Twitter. Why would Musk want to sue a company that he hopes to take private? And what will he achieve if he wins the lawsuit? Join us today in this video as we explore Elon Musk's lawsuit against Twitter. The Twitter takeover has swiftly devolved into a legal battle. But before we get into Elon Musk's lawsuit against Twitter, let's take a look at some of the other lawsuits the Tesla CEO has previously encountered. In 2018, the Securities and Exchange Commission accused Tesla CEO Elon Musk of fraud according to court records. According to the people who were close to the company, Tesla was also expected to be sued, although Tesla was not mentioned as a defendant in the case. According to the SEC lawsuit, Musk made false and misleading representations and neglected to notify authorities of important corporate changes. To discuss the complaint, the SEC scheduled a news conference. However, if Musk had been convicted, the SEC would have barred him from acting as an owner or director of a publicly listed business, among other penalties. A chairman and CEO of a public company has important responsibilities to shareholders. Stephanie Avakane, co-director of the SEC's Division of Enforcement, stated during the news conference, those responsibilities include the need to be scrupulous and careful about the truth and accuracy of statements made to the investing public. Whether those statements are made in traditional forms such as a press release or an earnings call or through less formal methods such as Twitter or other social media. Neither celebrity status nor reputation as a technological innovator provide an exemption from the federal securities laws, she said. Musk termed the charges unjustified and stated that he never compromised his integrity. This unjustified action by the SEC leaves me deeply saddened and disappointed, Musk stated in a statement to CNBC. I have always taken action in the best interests of truth, transparency, and investors. Integrity is the most important value in my life, and the facts will show I never compromise this in any way. Later that year, Musk tweeted that he was considering taking Tesla private, adding, funding secured. The tweet triggered Tesla's controversy and sent the stock fluctuating for weeks. Musk then said that he had been in talks with the Saudi National Wealth Fund and was certain that the funding would be forthcoming at his suggested price of $420 per share. In its lawsuit, the SEC claimed, Musk knew that one, he had not agreed upon any terms for a going private transaction with the fund or any other funding source. Two, had no further substantive communications with representatives of the fund beyond their 30 to 45 minute meeting on July 31st. Three, had never discussed a going private transaction at a share price of $420 with any potential funding source. Four, had not contacted any additional potential strategic investors to assess their interest in participating in going private transaction. Five, had not contacted existing Tesla shareholders to assess their interest in remaining invested in Tesla as a private company. Six, had not formally retained any legal or financial advisors to assist with a going private transaction. Seven, had not determined whether the retail investors could remain invested in Tesla as a private company. 8. Had not determined whether there were restrictions on liquid holdings by Tesla's institutional investors. And 9. Had not determined what regulatory approvals would be required or whether they could be satisfied. According to the lawsuit, Musk commented without consulting with other Tesla officials. At 1 p.m. EDT, approximately 12 minutes after Musk published his tweet stating, Am considering taking Tesla private at $420, funding secured. Tesla's own head of investor relations sent a text to Musk's chief of staff asking, was this text legit? Later, Tesla's head of investor relations informed an analyst that he didn't know if the financial promise was written or verbal, according to the complaint. After Tesla's head of investor relations received another inquiry from another investment bank, research analyst at approximately 7.20 p.m. EDT, he asked whether the analyst had read Tesla's blog post on this topic. The analyst responded, I did. Nothing on funding, though. The head of investor relations replied, The very first tweet simply mentioned funding secured, which means there is a firm offer. 
Elon did not disclose details of who the buyer is. The analyst then asked, Firm offer means there is a commitment letter or is this a verbal agreement? The head of investor relations responded, I actually don't know, but I would assume that given we went full on public with this, the offer is as firm as it gets. Musk told the New York Times that he computed a take private price of $420 by rounding up $1 from what would have been a 20% gain at the time. According to Musk, he calculated the $420 price share based on a 20% premium over that day's closing share price. Because he thought 20% was a standard premium in going private transaction, the SEC alleged in its suit. This calculation resulted in a price of $419, and Musk stated that he rounded the price up to $420 because he had recently learned about the number's significance in marijuana culture, and thought his girlfriend would find it funny, which admittedly is not a great reason to pick a price. According to the lawsuit, Musk also failed to properly tell regulators about his plans to take the firm private. Initially, Tesla's board of directors organized a special committee to consider the take private proposal. And Musk stated that he had engaged financial consultants to assist with the preparations. Musk eventually canceled the privatization plans on August 24, 2018. As a result of the lawsuit, Musk lost the lawsuit and was forced to bear the harsh consequences. First, he had to step down as Tesla's chairman and was not to serve in that position for three years from the time the matter was settled. Second, Musk and his Tesla company were required to pay $20 million to reimburse any shareholders who had been harmed by the tweet. Finally, Musk was to post a tweet about the company only after the company had made a profit. There seems to be no doubt about the fact that Elon has learned a lot from being sued, and now he is utilizing that knowledge to sue Twitter. Twitter is involved in two legal battles. One shareholder is suing Musk, and Musk is suing the company. The shareholder who is suing Musk accuses him of failing to disclose his intentions to purchase Twitter promptly. The law requires anyone intending to buy more than five stakes in a company to notify shareholders 10 days before the purchase. So, in Elon's case, he should have informed Twitter shareholders about his intentions to buy a stake in the company by the 25th of March, as he purchased the stake on the 4th of April. The shareholders allege that they were cheated out of the advantages that would have accrued between the time Musk announced his intention to purchase a stake in the firm and the time Musk bought stock in the company. He also alleges Musk earned more than $126 million during the 10-day delay. Elon Musk's original investment of $2.9 billion climbed to $3.6 billion in a couple of days after he purchased shares in Twitter. The tech icon is so influential that a single tweet from him is enough to cause cryptocurrency values to change. Elon Musk is suing the Twitter board for breach of their fiduciary duty, as stated in a tweet that says, if the current Twitter board takes actions contrary to the shareholder interests, they would be breaching their fiduciary duty. The liability they would thereby assume would be titanic in scale. The Twitter board has a fiduciary duty to act in the best interests of the shareholders, and as such, the board is obliged to accept any choices that would benefit the shareholders. Elon has the authority to sue the board members for rejecting his proposal of $54.20 per share, equating to $43 billion. Musk feels that his pricing is the best and that shareholders would like it. As a result, in this scenario, the board is making a mistake by rejecting the shareholder-friendly pricing. Musk has also stated that the board's economic aims are not aligned with those of the shareholders and that the Twitter board is blocking Musk's effort to take the massive social media site private. They have a minor collective interest in the firm. All 11 shareholders have a total ownership of 2.37%. When Jack Dorsey's 2.25 holding is removed from the board, the remaining 10 board members will have a total stake of 0.12%. It is even more shocking that one board member owns no stock in the company at all. In a nutshell, Elon Musk will have an easier time suing the Twitter board for failing to act in the best interest of the shareholders. Elon Musk will also sue Twitter for overcharging for their Twitter Blue subscription. Twitter Blue is a monthly membership service that provides the platform's most devoted users with exclusive access to premium features and app modifications for a nominal charge. The Tesla billionaire feels that the present charge of $3 is excessive, and he proposes that customers pay $2. But the payment should be made 12 months in advance, so that customers end up paying $24 every year, saving them $12. In addition, its tech expert has guaranteed that consumers would be able to pay for subscriptions in Dogecoin. 
Elon Musk, a crypto fan, believes that digital money will have a significant impact on the crypto world's future. Musk is quite fond of Dogecoin and plans to replace the present Twitter logo with birds with a Dogecoin design. If Twitter is discovered to have overcharged its subscribers, the courts will punish them. Tesla's CEO is a man who is going to court to get Twitter to open source its algorithms. He criticizes Twitter's algorithms, which he argues determine what individuals may see on their Twitter sites. If he wins the lawsuit, Twitter will be forced to open its algorithms to public inspection. Similarly, Musk is a free speech supporter who thinks that everyone has the right to express themselves freely. If Musk wins the lawsuit, Twitter will be forced to unban all of the users who have been barred from using their site. Anyways guys, if you want to see more interesting videos, click the video right above. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications enabled so that you don't miss out on the latest Elon Musk news.